The Palace of Versailles is a grand and opulent palace about 20 kilometers southwest of Paris. It was originally built as a hunting lodge in 1624 by Louis XIII but was later expanded into a magnificent palace by his son, Louis XIV, who moved the royal court from Paris to Versailles in 1682. The Palace of Versailles is renowned for its exquisite architecture, sprawling gardens, and lavish interior design. It is a prime example of French Baroque architecture and one of the most famous palaces in the world. Within the main building, there are four notable attractions, the Hall of Mirrors, the Royal Chapel, the Galleries of Battles, and the Royal Opera. Access to the Royal Opera is limited to guided tours only. The Royal Chapel, the fifth and final chapel constructed in the palace, was finished in 1710 towards the end of Louis XIV's reign. Louis XV used the Hercules Salon as a ballroom as he felt the Salon de Mars was too small and the Hall of Mirrors was too large. Life-size statue of Louis XIV in the costume of a Roman emperor. The Mercury Room was originally the royal bedchamber in the King's State Apartment and was referred to as the Bedroom. The Apollo Room was used as a throne room from 1682 onwards. Over the fireplace is the most famous portrait of Louis XIV. The Hall of Mirrors, completed in 1684, is a 73-meter-long room and the most renowned space in the palace. It is often hailed as one of the world's most beautiful rooms. The hall boasts 17 mirror-clad arches, each reflecting a corresponding arcaded window that overlooks the stunning Versailles Gardens. Beyond its aesthetic appeal, the mirrors served as symbols of the king's wealth. During that time, the price of a single mirror from Venice equaled the cost of an entire ship. The Hall of Mirrors stands as an exceptional representation of French Baroque architecture, signifying the opulence and authority of the French monarchy in the 17th century. The signing of the Treaty of Versailles took place in this very location on June 28, 1919, marking the end of the First World War. It is the famous painting depicts Marie Antoinette with her children. King Louis Philippe commissioned the creation of the Gallery of Great Battles, which occupies the majority of the first floor in the south wing of the palace. 
This expansive gallery showcases nearly 15 centuries of French military triumphs, featuring around 30 paintings that span from the era of Clovis to Napoleon. The gardens of Versailles are equally magnificent and cover vast landscaped areas with meticulously designed flower beds, fountains, and geometric patterns. The construction of the gardens began concurrently with the palace and lasted for approximately 40 years. It was an enormous undertaking that involved extensive earth moving to level the ground, establish parterres, construct the orangery, and excavate fountains and the canal in areas previously occupied by meadows and marshes. In the 17th century, the orangery symbolized wealth and luxury, accessible only to the wealthiest individuals. This status was derived from its association with rare plants, the challenges involved in their cultivation, and the high costs of maintenance. To populate the orangery, Louis XIV assembled all the orange trees from the royal residences and acquired numerous new trees, resulting in the largest collection in Europe. Covering approximately 3 hectares, the orangery parterre today consists of four grass sections and a circular pool. During summer, over 1,000 containers house orange trees, palm trees, oleander, pomegranate trees, and eugenia bushes, which are kept inside the building during winter. Water features hold significant importance in French gardens, surpassing even the designs of plants and groves. Versailles showcases various water elements, such as waterfalls nestled within select groves, graceful jets of water in the fountains, and the serene reflection of the sky and sun on the tranquil surfaces of the water parterre and the Grand Canal. To facilitate these captivating displays, Louis XIV oversaw the construction of an extensive water distribution network that spans over 45 kilometers beneath the Versailles Garden. This monumental undertaking stands as a testament to the engineering prowess required to bring the captivating water features to life.
The Palace of Versailles presents a captivating voyage through history, art, and beauty. With its grand architecture, magnificent gardens, and rich historical context, it stands as an essential destination for travelers seeking to immerse themselves in the grandeur of the French monarchy. The vastness of the palace and its gardens is awe-inspiring. The palace covers an area of over 2,300 acres and consists of several buildings, including the main palace, the Grand Trianon, the Petit Trianon, and the Queen's Hamlet. Attempting to see everything in a single visit would be a near impossible task. To make the most of your experience, it is highly recommended to plan your visit in advance and allocate ample time to fully appreciate the grandeur and historical importance of this remarkable palace. Thank you for watching. We hope you like this video. Feel free to comment, subscribe, like and share. See you in the next video.